All right, Pizza Club, again, love that. Let's get up with Leonardo next. Leonardo Leeds can barely read it, but it looks cool just like that, like the opening, almost said anime opening. <laughs> well, that first couple episodes kind of feels like it with how good the animation was. Let's look at Leonardo Leeds. What are the signs of a true leader? Empathy, bravery, a blue bandana. <laughs> and some interesting stuff there, the red eyes thing. Check this out, red eyes. Green. Ninja Turtle? What? Kaiba's in big trouble now. But love it, love the whole idea of the Burger King Killers Club playing again. The family home entertainment stuff. The boxes, the VHS, everything looks cool. These look nice. These are, uh, we missed out on the regular ones of these. So let's just open this up and take a look at him next. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little turtle images on the box. What's funny is we recreated this for the title card if you didn't catch. The original, it's Michelangelo with the swords, but it should be Leonardo. And then you see this where this feels like that should be more than Mikey. So wouldn't you think these things should kind of be switched and look more proper? Uh, here's the insert, the cool sewer thing, the exit. So I guess he can do that. Here's Leo on his knees just to show that he did all that. So we'll put him back, stand him up again. Normally, their legs always just seem so oddly... I was like, oh, it's my one complaint. But they do that. The bandana even does what it's supposed to do. But here's Leo out of the packaging. Look at that heavy face. No, too many issues except one little white scuff I can't seem to get off there. Of course, when it's the only thing you can find, what was you can get? Oh, at least that seems to be all there is. Never noticed you can see there, uh, like, ribs or something like that. Crazy. Or I guess that's muscle abs or whatever, guys. Leo. Accessories. Leonardo loves as pepperoni and marshmallow pizza. They always have those crazy flavors on the show, which was really neat. And this, I can actually see being somewhat okay. At least it isn't pepperoni and pineapple or something. But this is really an interesting flavor. Go catch it, Leo. Of course, another VHS tape, blue, to go with Leonardo, so whatever blue-themed uh, movie you think he'd be watching, let me know what you think below, what he's probably watching with this VHS tape. <laughs> What's he up to? No, you can't watch this movie, it's for adults. This is for me and Leo later. Ooh, can I join? There's his little goggle things, I guess he's ghost-busting. Or maybe he's <laughs> Buffalo Bill in Silence of the Lambs or something. But it kind of looks like uh, something you would see in Donatello's machine. I mean, his, uh, well, in a machine in his laboratory. Which I would do if I had one. But, I don't know. So much stuff come once. Just had to pass on something else again. But it's cool. We'll work in there and, I don't know. I don't know if it works. We could put it on him or not, but it looks pretty neat. A ghost. He's a a little samurai statue trophy. Now, upon looking at this, first thing I thought of was, is this supposed to be something about Chakahachi? What's a Chachi? And then I'm like, I don't know. And he's holding on to, well, something pretty big there. So this kind of neat. Yeah. Of course, Leo's favorite story about the Musketeers. <laughs> The book by Dumas. You fellas should read it. That's kind of a neat book. Uh, I remember that episode. Leonardo, will you get real? We're not musket turtles, and you're not some guy called D'Artagnan. <laughs> oh, but you are wrong. And I'll prove it when I find the queen. Very much the four musket turtles. Very interesting episode with Leonardo in that, but hey, 
You know what that could also lead to, right? That could be another four pack for Neck of the Dew. Ain't that right? Or at least give us uh, this variant of April O'Neil. Wow. What are you supposed to be? I'm a 17th century noblewoman, right out of the Three Musketeers. Whew. Good thing I remember that heat makes things rise. And of course, Leo gets his two katana. Like always, there they are. There's always a little circle on the sides. <laughs> now these are going to be some fun hands to use. I mean, you can tell just right from this angle. Oh yeah, this is going to be some fun stuff. We're going to have fun with this later. And then who's this? On this little stand. <laughs> this little wobbly guy. So he's on this little stand, but you can also take him off because if you try to hold him otherwise, he'll fall out. Very cool looking. But, who is this guy? Well, apparently... Zip is what this little cutie is. A zip from the Season 4 episode, The Big Zip Attack. Comes from Dimension X. And yeah, he's looking so wobbly. Looks like his head could at least swivel. So that's kind of an addition. I like these ultimates where they give us such interesting, wacky things. I mean, look at all this stuff. Pizza makes sense. His swords, his hands. But then this little guy, they get stuff like that in these. This thing. I mean, you're going way back, like... For this episode. Oh, no! Not again! Let's find those wretched knaves! Whatever that episode is. And then, oh yeah, don't forget. This extra head. The red-eyed Leonardo head. It's very neat. But wow. I am the turtle NATO. <laughs> you can twist that. And of course, what you can do with these is you can take... The, well, you know, you can, you, we'll see what we'll do. We'll show you. Hey, I called it when I was joking about a Terminator uh, Leonardo, and that comes from another episode where they go to some kind of amusement park thing, and this guy ends up making robots of them, and then there's that scene that you just saw, and yeah, they get the glowing eyes, him and Mikey. <laughs> so that makes sense. So it looks pretty cool. I like it. I like the glowing eyes. So it works. Yeah, I'm glad to find out what it's from. <laughs> he looks pretty cool like this. Kind of scary. Here we have Leo. What I liked about that was like the coolest thing for that four pack with the punk turtles was you can take off the sculpts and use them with these. And it's a bit of a tough, it seems hard for some of them. One of the sculpts was pretty easy, but some of them you got to watch out and probably not the best thing for me to do with my nails. So I had my buddy do it. And it looks pretty cool. Now it gives Leo with the red eyes more of a look. And now he has a kind of more fighty, more angry look. So this is what's really neat about these packs. You can face swap stuff here. And that's like one of the main plus with this. And look at look how cool and badass he looks now. <laughs> Just thought I'd share that and give it a try. But be careful as you don't want to cut off anything, scrape, make cuts, marks, paint, and all that stuff. So just be be wary of it. But it looks cool, dudes. One last look around at Leonardo. Gonna put his arms back down. For now. He's ready to fight you. <laughs> looks really good. I like the shell. We can put a sword, if you can. I know sometimes they can be a little tough. Like that doesn't look like it wants to go in at all. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that all the way through. Even on this one. Yeah, look at that. Got to break the sword, putting them in there. And tight as always. <laughs> but whatever. Probably rarely have them looking like that anyway. But there's the blues, and let's compare to this one. Ah, the older one there. As you can see, different heads. And they got like the little shade on there. Same kind of coloring, shadings on there. There's the shells. So kind of almost similar, but... They're definitely different heads, because I think, like, his would be a little smaller on this body. Two Leos. <laughs> and just to be sure, you can see the yellow is different. The coloring with the L on his belt is different. Uh, this Leo has a little bit of the shading back there, while this one does not on the back of his head. And the shading seems to be a little different, but the coloring of their skin seems to be alright. And the blues seem to be about right. <laughs> the katana fits nicely into his hand, but feels a little bit looser compared to the grip that he gets in that one. Oh no! 
I can't tell which one's the real Leo, which one's the one that I love. Why? There he is. He... He's like, hey kids, don't watch those type of things. No, just watch them, they're fine. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All of them together that we have. Leo power! And everyone else just kind of wondering, yep, even April's just like, what's going on here? <laughs> And again, thank you all so much for watching. What do you think of this Leonardo figure? These figures in general, I like the VHS things. And the different heads and the weird accessories. <laughs> Let us know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Well, Chakahachi just won't let go of his statue. <laughs> I guess he really likes his little friend. Right, Chakahachi.